Did I ever start the chainsaw? I can't remember. There we go, chainsaw. Yes. Yes. Make me a chainsaw. Do it. So cool. Okay, well, there we go, mission accomplished. Okay, a couple of things here. First, I know that we're trying to save money to expand the lot, but let's upgrade this. Is this gonna mess up? Do I need this stuff? Limestone bricks and granite slab. I'm just gonna say confirm. Ooh, it's so big. Cool. <laughs> Too bad, like, I don't have an actual swimming pool that looks like this. Hold on, why can't I stop? Back. There, let's move this. Uh, this is really fancy. So can I catch any sandfish here now? This is a really fancy pool. That's so funny. Hello, my friends. My name is Unki and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. My child's stomach is upset. This is not good. Where is the baby? Okay, so um, this, I have Morning. no way. I still got several designs left to check. <sighs> this is Let's a... hang out when I'm finished. Okay, babe. Um, I find <laughs> the pacifier is not in the kid's mouth. Look, it's just sitting on the kid's chin. So for whatever reason, I cannot take care of my child. I keep getting these alerts that things are wrong, but then when I go to interact with them, nothing happens. I find that very frustrating. Okay, well. There's really, I guess, nothing we could do. How did you get over here? Hun, hey, why don't we get ourselves chestnut fish heads? Catch you later. Bye. Okay, today, my friends, we have a big day because that big day requires us to go kick the crap out of some bad guys. We have to clear out the remaining breach and then that's going to, I guess, eliminate all the monsters from the Valley of Whispers, which will then allow us to start our very big and exciting wiggle room. Nia, Nia has a quest for us. Oh, interesting. So we got a lot going on today. Um, uh, in addition, let's see, I think we just have a few things to turn in, right? We have this commission, no problem there. Uh, we gotta go repair these houses, we can do that. And then we need three of these perfect steel frames of which we need spinel. So we're not gonna be able to finish that today. So let's, um, let's see what everyone, hey, wanna head out and kick back for a while? Everyone just wants to hang out. Let's um, start by, ooh, and we got the chainsaw. We gotta see this thing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's check it out. Yes, oh, this is so cool. Um, okay, let's start with a mail. Letter from Danby, update. Burgess' the sleepwalking has stopped. How fragile the human psyche. The thought that worries like shoesy oases could have such, what? Shh, sh I have no idea what she's trying to say here. The thought that that worries like Shui oases could have such devastating effects, it frightens me. Good thing Mr. Burgey Boy has pals like us to help him out. I think she's trying to say that the shoes would mess up the oasis in weird, like, baby talk. Anyways, hello, Nia. Oh, good. I was afraid you might have left already. Nope, ready to go. I've had this idea at work recently, and I just need a teeny weeny little really, really tiny little favor. Okay, go on. I've been studying soil nutrients with Zeke, and I want to cultivate a terrarium, a kind of ranch for sandworms. <laughs> it's a really common method used for improving soil nutrient structure. I studied it pretty extensively at school. This actually sounds really cool. Design-wise, it'd just be a pretty simple but sturdy box that can hold the worms in soil. Oh, it needs some sort of heating to keep a constant temperature. That way it can be consistent. Okay. So, what do you think? Could you build me a sandworm terrarium? I'm not gonna worm out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid, <laughs> but thanks. You know someone likes you when they call you stupid. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's that like uh, insult as a compliment, right? I asked Director Chi to make some adjustments based on the terrarium I used at school. I must say, despite his attitude issues, he's really good at his job. Here's the diagram with everything I'll need. The thing about Director Chi is that you have to get past his exterior and realize that he is 
only interested in the things he's interested in and anything else is just seen as a frustrating distraction once you get on cheese wavelength he is the greatest the absolute greatest when you've built it we need to put in some paper water and soil oh <laughs> and some food for the little guys of course then we can put in some sandworms and we're good to go okay when it's ready just bring it to me and we'll start farming sandworms it's going to be so much fun. This is cool. Can I put this on my... Can Thank I, like, build so one? Thank you so much for doing this. Excuse me. You have no idea how much this is going to help me in my experiments. I can't wait. Can I have one of these the and then we don't have to go hunting for sandworms? Okay, wiggle room. Mission start. Do, do, do. Oh, we got poop. Thanks for cleaning up. Uh, magic mirror really has turned out to be absolutely amazing. I love it. Okay, let's see if we can't get this party, this, um, this thing started right off the bat. Um, quest. Sandworm terrarium. Copper screw, simple circuits, glass. Super easy. Go. Okay, one other thing that I wanted to do. Let's take a look. Is it here? Dun, 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 dun. I was reminded by the tempered glass. I want two more of these. Um, because then we can replace all of the crappy ones that we have on the roof. And that will be exciting. I'm just going to walk around with my chainsaw like a psychopath. Okay, is there anything else that I want to get taken care of this morning before we head off? No, let's go turn in some of these. I'm going to take Merle. No, I'm going to take Lumpy. We want to get our um, friendship up with Lumpy to the max. Okay, so let's see. Lumpy, not the biggest fan of chestnuts. Pretty happy with the tomatoes. Okay, uh, looks like everyone hates the mushrooms. So I'm guessing, you know what I'm gonna do? Tank full. Oh, magic mirror is doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I could throw some sandberries in there. Do I have sandberries to throw in here? That's the question. Probably not on me, but let's see. I guess I'm not going to trip about one mushroom just sitting in there. I mean, part of me is like, no, this is a huge, like, terrible issue and it needs to be fixed. Crops cooking. Here we go. Sandberries. We only have 49. Damn, I wish we could farm those. Okay, we're going to say sort all. Fill this up to the max. The reason being is that we're about to head in. I don't want to be running out of space. Oh, I guess I could just go straight to the helper box. If we sort here, where did the sandberries go? There. Feed sandberries to my camel. Off we go. Let's turn in these commissions really quick. Shouldn't take too long at all. Dun, 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 dun. I am excited. I am not going to lie, though. I am just a little nervous. Okay, I guess it's just this one commission. Oh, and then we gotta go repair stuff. Why don't we do this first? Let's um, let's try to get this stuff done as quickly as possible. Hello, Hugo. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Not bad. Okay, now where do we go to repair this stuff? Looks like right over here. There's Mr. Way. Let's see what's going on with Way hey in Way's world. Mm. Let's see. You are truly an inspiration to the guild, Unky. Ever since I gave a little workshop on your, a little workshop on your message, even old Slack is cleaning up his act. Or I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Well, who, wait, so what? Long, partner. Oh, Slack was one of the other builders. That's right. Okay, let's fix this dump. Look at this. Boop boop boop. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Look. And they got a kid. How cute. Oh, my gosh. Who are these people? Hmm? Chen, new resident, a tailor. Are we there yet? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this cute family. Hmm. Kira, new resident and adventurer. Ooh, my kind of girl. We are all these years on the road and finally a place to call our own. <gasps> wow. And then Callie. Chen and Kira's daughter. What a pretty house. What a pretty garden. Hmm. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Are you the builder who built this house? It's just like to introduce myself. I'm Kira. This is my husband, Chen, and my daughter, Callie. Welcome to Sandrock. Thank you. It's our pleasure to be here. Well, I guess we're neighbors now. I hope we can be friends one day. Hello. Anki, it's very nice to meet you. Bye-bye, builder. A uh, tailor. I wonder if he can make us uh, even cooler outfits. Hey, it's unsure. Hey there. Hey there, bud. When I was little, my best friend was a rock named Wilson. Can you believe that? 
I'm glad I have a real human being as my best friend now. I am so glad that he's our best friend. Catch my you. favorite character in this game, I would consider... I would... No, this is not irony. I think I've said this before. I would consider Unsure our character's soulmate. I love that man more than anything else. What a gem of a being. My gosh. Oh, look, and now there's just Chen walking around town. Cool. Um, let's see what happens when we chat with him. Hmm. Sandrock is great. Your eyes really turn things out right here. Okay, so it doesn't look like we... It's not like they're a companion that we can build relationships with or anything. Okay, this place is a crap hole too. Let's fix it. Oh, we need more now. Okay, so I need another limestone brick and two tempered glass. One limestone brick, two tempered glass. Let's see if we can remember that. You know, we probably had the parts and then I used it making the advanced sand trap and the um, and the super dew collectors. That's probably what happened. One limestone brick, two tempered glass. All right. Lumps, stay right here. Just running around with my chainsaw. Okay, did we forget? It was a limestone brick, right? That's right, so I think it's here actually. There we go. Okay, um, since we're here, we could probably kick off a couple more commissions. That one pays a lot. I don't know if I have the organic scrap for that. We always have a ton of these and I don't use them for anything at all. That seems like really easy money right there, huh? Since we're busy today, we'll just grab the low hanging fruit. Um, I'm not going to worry about this. Maybe I'll try this, but I don't know. Oh, I already have too many commissions. Okay, can't do it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. My guess is Dan B is we know Unsure's walking around somewhere. Yeah, he's right over there. Okay, so let's turn this one in first. Danby's at home. Okay, we're almost done. We're just doing our morning chores. Our morning, uh, you know, good builder chores. Oh, there's Kira. So cool. Oh, I love new people in town. It's my favorite thing in the world. We gotta fix this wall for them. She's upstairs, probably hanging out with her baby. Maybe I should put the chainsaw away before I go barging into her house. Oh, she's dusting, cute. Hello. Hello, here you go. Thank you. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. And then to find unsure, there he is. Howdy. Howdy. Here you go, bud. Thank you. It's the thing I need. So funny. Okay, how are we doing on cash? Probably really good. 65, not too bad. Um, let's see. Are we prepared? What day is it? It's Wednesday. Okay, before we head out to the desert, why don't we swing by Fangs? I think it's always Mondays and Wednesdays that he does the, like, drink poison and fart for science um, things. So let's do that. Uh, I think I have enough um, heal stuff. I have all the weapons I could possibly need. So I'm not too worried. I guess I could have upgraded this chainsaw, but I'll do it later. Hello, Mr. Fang. It worked, it worked. Orchid extract. Uh, this medicine is, you won't be, oh, uh, cool. I didn't even know poison was a thing in the game. I love that he goes, hmm. 
how are we doing actually on friendship with him? It's everyone in the universe has told me it is the best storyline. It is tragic. Okay, so we're buddies. We're getting there. I like that. It's a slow process. I know that uh, to uh, level up with X is the way to get to it. Look at the extra extra health points. That's nice. What do we get? Um, once we're friends, we'll get a 10% discount. Okay, cool. Not going anywhere fast, are we there, Lumpy? Let's go. It would be really cool. It would have been really cool if they had like made, say, the camel. Besides just being slower, I mean, I don't. I, I, <laughs> the camel and the yak mail are both awesome and beautiful and hilarious. But I think it would have been really cool if, like, maybe they had a little bit more distinct purpose. Oh, right here. Like, what if we could load this up with gear and haul more stuff home? Something like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm just nitpicking here. All right. Everyone's here. Let's go over the plan. Okay. Okay. Our goal is to, uh, get the creatures back to their natural underground habitat through this breach located here. Um, where? <laughs> what? <laughs> is that code for the ruins, sir? Yes, it is. Anyway, I reckon we ought to spread out around the breach point and defeat a few of the stragglers outside so that they'll all make a run for their natural underground habitat. Seems reasonable. Then me, Logan, and Unsure will hold them from coming out again while the builder seals the hole. Okay, great. That's plan A. If things go sideways, I still got plan B through F. I'll talk about them only if I need to. All right. Understood. You ready? We're ready. Got everything you need? Ready. Weapons, medicine? You know the drill. Recommended level 51. I'm ready. Okay, let's ride. Head for your spot. Get him on the run. Then meet up at the breach point. Okay, let's go. You ready, Lumps? Let's do this. All these guys are going on foot. Peasants. <laughs> out of my way. Okay, we got to keep an eye out for Spinel. I'm pretty sure it's around here. I could be wrong, though. Oops, I did not mean to get off. You know what? Um, maybe it would be easier if we were on foot. Let's see, interact. Why don't you just stay here for the moment? It is a ways. Just because I want to keep an eye out for... Oh, look, we got scrap. Let's get this stuff while we're here. Can't hurt. God, I love the drill. I can't wait to go deforesting the... the war oh, we could do it right here. Let's try it. This is going to melt this thing. So good. Okay, cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. Can we? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I might have been wrong on that spinel. Let's see. What is this? Is this spinel? Yes, it is. Great. We need. How many do we get? We got three. Five. I think if we um, grind this stuff, it gives us spinel too, right? Gives us crystal, not spinel. Okay, no worries. Do I run faster than the camel? <laughs> it kind of seems that way, huh? Um, okay, I think maybe I was supposed to kill some stuff on the way here, and I completely ignored that. Well, let's just pretend like I did my job. Um, hello, Logan. He's here. After being on the run for so long, sometimes I sleep better outside than I do in. Sky is my blanket, dirt is my pillow, and the bright morning sun to rise and make sure I don't sleep the day away. You know, this sounds ridiculous right like it's storytelling but i actually knew a kid had a really really rough childhood i don't need to go into the details and he could fall asleep anywhere like he would sleep more comfortably on the floor and bless his heart when he finally got his own um, apartment 
he was happiest. He actually put a bed in the closet because he just liked the enclosed space. And I thought it was so strange at the time, but knowing his history, I guess that's what trauma does to you. Anyways, so long, not Parker. to make the situation dour, but uh, I did. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You guys doing okay? <laughs> I, I, that was easy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no sweat. Yeah. One of the mutants threw a pretty rock at me. I almost said thank you. Oh, that's cute. Uh, cool. <laughs> now, think you can fill up this hole? Sure. Hey, uh, Justice, wait. This breach, it's like they cut it open. Okay, so they might have the tools to cut it open. We yeah. gotta go in. Even if we seal it here, what's stopping them from opening another one? Uh, good point. All right, plan B. Unsure we'll stay here and keep them inside. Me, Logan, and the Builder will go into the ruins and find the deepest breach and seal it off there. How's that? Let's do it. I kind of want to hear Plan C. Oh, he Let's wants to go. <laughs> he wants to go Greeno Factory. Okay, cool. Here we go. We get to put. Careful now. We don't know how deep this goes. ruins give me the creeps. Uh, they're my favorite. Mutants, monsters. This is actually these are some of my favorite parts of the game. I loved the going doing these things. Okay, well, uh oh. Hey, man, I've seen stuff. Here we are. Looks like an old world factory of some sort. What do y'all think this is? This company is crazy. Go figure. It smells terrible. Look at these mutants. I don't doubt that the company that ran this place was up to no good. All right, let's roll. Looks to me like there's still a bunch of green gas inside. Time to take out your vacuum. Okay. Be prepared. I reckon there will be tougher battles ahead. I got I got my two favorite heroes. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this sword is so amazing. Yes. Come on. Let's see if there's a way through this door. Let's see if there's another way around. Okay. Um Ooh, medicine bottle. Why don't we clean this garbage up? Time has frozen, so we can spend as much time here as we want. Let's see, way around. I don't have my jetpack, sadly. Can't go through here. Well, what do you know? Here's the way around. Oh, wait, I gotta do this, right? There we go, and then we clean up the mess. I am a hero. Altair RX-67. Cool. Cool. Can we chop these or are they decoration? Ooh, they're in here mining. This is interesting. Hmm. Look at that. They're quite in sync. And look at this cool wrench they have. <sighs> Just don't make sense. Why are so many mutants here? Maybe they came from somewhere else? Nah, these guys are the same as the ones we fought before. Gotta be from the same place. Look, they're just repeating the same thing over and over. Nothing's even there, they're just digging away. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. You know, rumor has it some of the mutants underground used to be humans. The Age of Darkness changed them, made them vicious and savage. Yeah, I heard that before as well. That's dark. Come on. I reckon we're getting close. Follow their numbers. We'll know where they're coming from. <laughs> These guys are so easy to kill. Doom Shroom, you're going down. Uh, these guys are a little stronger. He's got to watch out for his uh, stink attack. So good. Can we get in there? I want that. Oh, how about the... <laughs> yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Huh? Obviously, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Give me something good. Ooh, cute. That could be the kids' room.
These don't do anything except for just fart on me, right? Yeah, okay. Wish that um, my farts were that pretty. They are not. Was that oh, was that, that uh, TMI? The vacuum clean it up. Logan does not care at all. I'm getting Greeno from this. Can I use it as an ingredient for something or can I just sell it? Maybe, um, maybe Arvio can figure out what to do with it. This bee looks like um, it wants, it's got, it, it's got Greeno coming out of its back. What kind of terrible killing it. Look at that. You know what's amazing about this thing is I can actually just treat it like a ranged weapon. God, there's this crap everywhere. What a mess. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't have to get anywhere near them. This weapon is insanely overpowered. I love this thing. You good, Logan? You got that? We'll let him do his thing. He wants to... <laughs> that insane laugh he does. Throw him an assist. There you go. Oh my God, so powerful. <laughs> it's kind of fun to just like, oh, hey, Mr. B. What a jerk. He's not a bee, he's an ant. And now he's dead. I guess I really don't need to vacuum all this stuff up, but it seems like, I guess, the right thing to do. Do I get another cool picture? I hope so. High speed processor, not bad. Pop, old parts. Oh my gosh. So much pollution. Time to use the vacuum. What do you think I've been doing? <laughs> Let's find a way hey, to open it. He's running for his life. Now he's dead. I guess I didn't need to stab him in the back. He seemed like he just wanted to get away. Oh, this little mushroom's jumped off of him. That's cute. I feel bad killing this thing now. It just wants to live its little mushroom life. Yeah. Is this what he was talking about? Oh, this purple stuff is more pollution, huh? I feel compelled to vacuum up every drop of this stuff. Cartoon animal, cute. I wonder where all these pictures came from. Are they like, um, are they like a backer reward? I wonder if it was, cause I know that this was, uh, went to like a Kickstarter. And I wonder if it was like, oh, you pay a certain amount and like a drawing that you do can go in the game. That's really, I'll bet that's exactly what that is. I only realize that now because there is a new game that's uh, on a Kickstarter right now called Starship Simulator. Now, I'm gonna tell you something about myself. I am a huge Trekkie. I don't watch the new ones as much, mostly because 
The last time I tried to have the Paramount Plus app, it was such garbage that I couldn't get it to work. And so, but I do like them. They're not as good as the old Gene Roddenberry Star Trek. Like Next Generation and Deep Space Nine, some of the best TV. Let me just cut in here really quick and acknowledge the fact that Deep Space Nine was not produced or directed by Gene Roddenberry because Gene Roddenberry had passed away. It was Rick Berman at that point. I know this. However, I feel like Deep Space Nine, Voyager, maybe even Enterprise was, you know, headed by Rick Berman as executive producer. However, I feel like he was still trying to maintain the original vision of Gene Roddenberry of a future that had gotten past past scarcity. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I'm sure there's going to be one Trekkie that's going to jump down my throat for saying something like Gene Roddenberry slash Deep Space Nine. Okay. I told you I was a big Trekkie in the history of the universe. I have seen through The Next Generation like three different times, every episode. I'm obsessed. Anyways, so all that being said, Starship Simulator, go check it out, is my dream come true. And I really hope this project takes off. It looks like it's been fully backed, you know, four times over, which is great. But if you are a certain level backer, you can design a star system in the game. Um, and then if you back even more, you can design right, so your own alien race. And I'm pretty tempted. I'm short on funds these days, but that's tempting. That is super tempting. Okay, it looks like that's maybe the way forward. Actually, both of these look like they might be the way forward. There's, no, that's the way we came. Okay, we had to go all the way. <laughs> Excuse me, this is the way forward. I just ate a huge breakfast, so forgive the hiccups. I just have to edit them all out. All right. I hope we have a big boss at the end. I really do. I feel like we haven't had a really good boss fight in a while. Man, this place is a mess. All of this just to make sh like skin cream, shampoo. Seems ridiculous. Dang. Even for an up to no good company like these guys, this is a bit much, ain't it? Can't believe they sold this junk. I say that now, but I bet if we went to any factory that produced skincare products. You know, um, it would look like this, right? It would be absolutely mind boggling how much freaking shampoo there was in one building. See that pot? That's where the chemicals go. Maybe if we stop the flow, we can make sure that there ain't going to be any more mutants in the Sandrock area again. Plan That's C? Plan C. Well, it's more like plan uh, B uh, version two. Plan B hasn't gone anywhere else. So this is the purple and the green stuff. That's how you know it's really dangerous. So there was a, a big announcement that they're going to be adding. So we know that Sandrock has multiplayer and I haven't done multiplayer because none of my friends play Sandrock. But um, I'm sure that the people that have been doing it have been having a blast. They just announced that they are going to be bringing cross-platform multiplayer to the game, which I think is fantastic. It seems like they're really trying to um, optimize the performance on the Switch. Oh, those things just killed my stamina. Whoa, okay. Optimized performance on the Switch, which I think is great. This game is just perfect for the Switch, but also cross, um, really make multiplayer a thing. So it has me thinking about, you know, what the future is, because God, those things are gnarly. I can't get anywhere near them. I wonder if Pathia has dreams of making a my time at MMO? Is that something in the future? Is that something in their future plans? They can use the multiplayer in this game, masterpiece side by side, super cute. They can use the multiplayer in this game to develop the tools needed to then maybe launch some sort of MMO like or uh, builder. Because I know that Palea is doing it. The problem with Palea personally is it's microtransaction based. I don't like that. I would much rather just pay a membership fee or uh, just pay an outright price. Not to say that Paley isn't a great game, but this being the huge success that it obviously is, you know, and as fun as it is, um, and having now quite a bit of world building between my time at Porsche and my time at Sandrock, do I really have to vacuum up all of this crap? I guess I do. At least I'm talking about something interesting. Um, interesting to me, at least. 
um, I would just lose my entire life and well-being to a my time at MMO. If I could just spend all of my time building and hanging out with my friends, crafting, fighting Duvos, all of that. Oh my gosh. I think they should release a Duvos game. That would be really cool if you could pick the other side. Some of the people at Duvos we really liked. Hey, look at that. Got all three of them at once. Nailed it. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? No. Anyway, that's just me uh, speculating. None of that. I mean, it's just me thinking out loud. Don't take it at all that seriously. Here we go. Let's get the last of this stuff. A little bit right under here. Can we chop this? No. Whoop. Gone. What is on this? Oh, it's just the light. Do any of you play this game multiplayer? Do you play it with your friends? I'm super curious. Let me know in the comments as uh, you know, they say, okay, let's grab this. Heck yes. And then we will save. Uh, excuse me, Justice. Do we get another cool poster? <laughs> Wrong way, dork. <laughs> Just, <laughs> what the heck? Um, I am not gonna go down there and vacuum all that crap up. I am sorry, nature, but you're on your own with that one. Not worth it to me. Look at this mess. I guess if I had to. Is there anything to gather down there? I guess that's the question. Those two seem to be quite content running around in that stuff. I wanna jump down here and see if maybe there's a chest anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to vacuum our way through this mess now, so. Okay, let's head forward. I guess I could have found, um, I could have known if there was a chest down there just by looking at the map, but you know, nothing beats your own eyeballs. Hey, look at this little, uh, oh, here we go. We got trouble. Huh. Let's try boxes. What does a box have against my sword? Looks like stuff from the old world. Where's it going? right in the middle <laughs> dang dude <laughs> Logan is so trigger happy ooh big boys had to try let's uh get the little guys off the map first Okay, that was easy enough. Let's see. Ooh, nice. I think I can just sit here and stun lock them. Oh, easy. This is the joke. Greeno, more, so they're just basically addicted to the stuff. All right, this guy is so dead. 
Dang, I was hoping for an easier fight than this. I feel like maybe the katana sort of trivializes it. <laughs> Made it way too easy. Careful. There's going to be more where that. Oh, there's more. Okay, good, good, good. I want more. I want like something huge and crazy. Let's take a look. What's that snoring sound? Weird. Um, let's uh, heal up here. Make sure we don't miss any goodies. What? Why the hell did a bomb just fall out of the sky? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, I have those lights. Oh, there's just a bomb. Can what? That's crazy. Okay, what was the way forward? I guess this way. A fluorite, not bad. Yes. Oh dear. That's a problem. Sleeping. Better not disturb him. Let's take a poke around. Wastewater treatment rules. Wastewater treatment pit needs to be regularly cleaned to prevent the pesky government watchdogs from finding out it exists. Use the cleaning function. Wastewater electricity lines need to be aligned properly to work. Keep them tidy. Greeno returned by customers can be poured directly into the wastewater treatment pit. It's all the same. When turning on the pit, make sure you double check that there are no workers inside. Take Jerry as an example for you. We do not provide compensation for accidents. Rip Jerry. So wait a second. They're using wastewater to make this stuff? We can use the machine to clean yeah, up the pollution. That makes sense. It says the machine has a cleaning function, doesn't it? And if we use it, I reckon we can get it all cleared up real nice. All right, let's poke around. See if we can't find a way to start this cleaning. Okay, but we have to make sure that the electricity is aligned first, right? Um, I'm not going to pick up all of this stuff. It's not that necessary. Masterpiece Granny. Cool. Oh, look. It's one of these. This is fun. This does not look like a very difficult puzzle, if I'm being totally honest. Um, okay, so my guess is this is the power, right? Uh, I don't one. I wonder if we need. Let's see. This looks like it needs to be repaired, doesn't it? Here we go. Do I have to complete this one? Yes. Here we go. Why would it split into two, though? It's pointless. Well, just for fun, so yes, I guess. Wastewater treatment operational. Commencing cleaning treatment. This is terrible. Look at all this junk down there. I want all of it, though. Cabin door closing in three, two, one. Where's it going to get, like, flushed to? This can't be good. <laughs> That's the sound of just massacre. <laughs> That's horrible. Water treatment complete. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The color of that water still isn't all that great. Done. Looks like the mutants are flushed away. Well, I'd call this mission a success. Always nice to work with you two. Let's roll out. Uh, give Easy. me a minute. I want to take a poke around. Uh, sure. Come see me. I think that's everything. There's uh, this Greeno stuff on the ground. I don't really think I know need any of it. I think we got everything. I just wanted to double check. <laughs> Dang, I was hoping this was going to be more challenging. I want a really serious boss fight. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe we'll get Ready one. Roll out? Let's get out of here. Let's go, my friend. Let's go. We still need a little more spinel. So if uh, that's it, we're just going to have to go spinel hunting. Sir, how did it go? Were these power lines always here? We got it done. 
The builder plugged a big hole down there. Won't be seeing any mutants around these parts no more. What hole did I plug? We just killed everything. How goes your end? Nothing came out, except you guys. I was counting rocks. <laughs> Dream come true. That's about it for today. Good job, everyone. I'll go tell Mayor Trudy the news. Maybe we should all team up again in the future. Sand Rock's ultimate team. Sounds real nice. Maybe something more straightforward. <laughs> How is that not straightforward? Uh, right, well, what do you think? Sand and Rock Squad. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. I like it. Sand and Rock? Uh, why did you need to split up Sand Rock? Come on, Sheriff. Who cares about it, man? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Sand Rock Super Squad. Roll out. Okay. Ooh, we got the Camel Rider Helmet. The future Camel. We gotta check this thing out. I'll bet it's amazing. Oh my god, this is awesome. I look like a Beetleborg. <laughs> so good. We gotta wear this. We gotta wear this. <laughs> Why don't you come up with a name, Logan? Are they still fighting about the name? I don't care. There it is. There it is. No fun, Logan. <laughs> no fun, Logan squad. <laughs> All right, well, we're down here. I got to get my hands on a little bit of spinel. I see some right there. This is pretty deep. Didn't we come this way before? Yeah, I think a long time ago. This was like a story area. Well, look, all the monsters are gone now. This is great. Okay. Nice, we'll take it. We know that the best way to level up is to do mining. So let's see. I don't know that there's any more spinel around here. Let's see. We should probably just call them out. Why don't we call Merle? No, let's call Lumpy. We got to we got to get our <laughs> We got to get our levels up with Lumpy as slow as he is. We love Lumpy because Lumpy is all charm. Look at this guy. Look at him. He doesn't care that he's slow. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that he's a, a big lump lumping down the road. No, look at that. He's like, take it or leave it. What? You gotta love Lumpy. Gotta love him. Okay, there's a little more spinel right there. Let's just grab as much of this as we can on our way back. Hopefully, well, the wifey will be at home and she's the one that we turn these into. So it shouldn't be too hard. We probably have enough now. I think it was four. I guess we can look in our bags and see, right? What do we get? Purplo? That looks pretty cute. 15. Okay, I think we have enough. We'll head home, but if we see any on the way, we'll grab it. How about that? Tropity, tropity, trop. And then everything else should be done today too. How exciting. We're killing it. Okay, is this the right way? I honestly, yes it is, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. We're a Beetleborg. I don't know that we ever actually put on the whole dinosaur suit. I don't think we did. I think we just looked at them each individually. Well, why don't we try that on? before we do anything else. We're gonna have to extend our closet area. Oh, I think we did. And we realized that we were like, um, pink King Koopa. This outfit's actually amazing. Oh, this, it makes me wanna make the other one and see what the other color scheme is. Trot, 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 trot. Let's go. Okay, well, let's go home and finish up our chores. How fun. I really... <sighs> there was a couple battles in the beginning that were really tough. The fight with Mayor Trudy was... Or excuse me, the fight with um, Matilda, that one was gnarly. There were a couple other that were like really pushed me to my edge. Um, you head home. Um, but the last couple haven't been all that challenging, if I'm being honest with you. I guess it's a small complaint. I really shouldn't worry about it. Oh, I have that quest to finish. Let's, um, 
Let's see if we can't upgrade the steel frame. Here we go. Oops. I did not mean to upgrade that one to rare. Oh, well, it's okay. We, the spindle is essentially infinite, so it's not that big of a deal. Do I do it again? Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> okay, well, you're getting really good steel, I guess. Um, stop standing on my bunnies. That's totally disrespectful. We have that quest to finish. Is everything else done? Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Oh, take that to the moisture farm. Nice, repair the second house and turn this. So let's go to the moisture farm first. Perfect little spot for it. Adorable. <laughs> it's so small. Is that the terrarium? Oh, it's <laughs> even better than I imagined. Why is it amazing? Why is it so dinky? I expected it to be <laughs> like gigantic. We, we could make a much better earthworm farm than this. <laughs> this is so funny to me. All right. Let's get these little guys settled in. First, put the paper. Then a little water. Then we can put in our sandworms. Perfect. Looks like the little guys are thirsty. I bet they're hungry too. Come on, let's give them a little bit of food. There you go, Nibbler. Wow, Nibbler was starving. I think Amy and Zap ate all of his food. Uh, you already named them? Yeah, not bad, huh? <laughs> you know what? I was a biology student. I actually have an unfinished um, biology degree. And um, I'll tell you what, biology students are a special kind of nerdy. And so I'm not surprised that she named her worms. It's totally a thing. What, you wanted to name them? Uh, I don't know. Ever since you named my chicken Doggy and my cat Ducky, I've had a bad feeling whenever you try to come up with names. Have you been on my farm lately? I am an animal naming prince. I am so good at it. Anyways, these guys are basically my colleagues. If I call them ridiculous names, it'll get embarrassing. They're your colleagues? Okay, we're getting a little out on the limb here. Well, I guess all that's left is for me to feed them every day and wait for the soil to fertilize and wait for more worms to appear. By the way, if you want to raise some of the little guys yourself, you can just make the sandworm terrarium and put a couple of sandworms in there. Cool. Anyway, I've got a few plants that should be sprouting. It's actually really interesting. The ones I'm growing at the moment have a really unique germination cycle, so I'm trying to... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm getting carried away. Well, I'll let you go now. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll see you later. Later. Okay, she is adorable. Absolutely adorable. What a huge nerd. I mean, I can't really uh, pick on her and call her nerdy when I'm running around in a freaking hot pink King Koopa outfit. So, you know, we're we're all we're all beautiful in our own way. We're all our own beautiful flower, aren't we? Let's go, Lumpy. I think I just want to take a walk. OK, well, the real fun begins now that we have cleared that area out. We should be getting plans for Katori's world really, really soon. And I cannot wait. I am really looking forward to um, building an amusement park. This should be so cool. I'll bet you that after the pipes, after the pipe project and the, the sheer size of it, um, my expectation is that the amusement park is going to be mind blowing. Do we have a new family moving in? Oh, just in time. Oh, look at this cute old couple. Oh mm. my God. Look at this. Hey, Pa, almost here. Oh, it's uh, father and son. <laughs> Wait, isn't this it? Hmm. Ah, so it is. Hello there. Are you the builder who worked on this help? Yep, your new home is ready. Ooh. 
Ah, it's everything we could have hoped for. Thank you so much. I love this guy. Is he going to work with Rocky? Mm. Indeed. For someone so young, you really know your craft. <laughs> We've heard nothing but good things about the new Sandrock. We just came in from Tall Sky, and it seems the rumors were true. The two of us are getting on with the years. My pa here likes to draw, and well, we're just happy to find somewhere peaceful to settle down. Uh, well, you know, peaceful because we work really hard to keep it that way. But don't worry, you'll never be want for excitement in Sandrock. I wonder if that salvage company needs any part-time workers. Oh, they do. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll see now, won't we? Let's not take up any more of our friend's time, eh? Hmm. You got it, Pa. Thanks again, Builder. That felt really, really good. Okay, repair the third house. We um, Do we have the parts for it? Well, we're about to find out. But we don't. This is so fun. This is like a really, really cute quest. No. Okay, so we need five limestone bricks and two tempered glass. So I think I messed myself up by making, um, making some extra stuff. Is that the last house? Look at all this garbage. Can we clean all this up? I mean, that is like primo Oasis front property. Well, Lumpy jumping right over that. Oh, look, and here's Petrov. Hmm. I'll just unpack a bit, then head over to the salvage company to submit my resume. I think they'll take one look, one look at that gruff beard and long hair and be like, dude, you're hired. Okay, so what was it? Two tempered glass and five limestone bricks. Let's finish that. Oh, we got one super dew collector. Nice. We'll put that on the roof. In fact, we can do that right now. While we're talking about it. Hello? Perfect. Perfect. One more to go. We'll acquire it. We know that the baby loves that stuff. Okay. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching the end. Hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment. It's always my favorite thing in the world. Looking forward, oh so forward to um, finishing this. Uh, I think we're close to the end, are we not? I don't know. Every time I think that, more and more happens. Okay, so now I think we need to smelt this stuff, right? What was it, two tempered? Yeah, we're actually starting to run a little close on the quartz there. And then five limestone bricks, is that? We think we make these here too. So I don't know, I, something, I think we're, we're close to the end, but maybe we're not actually close to the end at all. Lord only knows. Uh, I think four cues. Oh, five cues. There we go. Boop. All right. I appreciate you all so much. I'll bid you farewell. And boy, do I look forward to seeing you all.